afternoon everyone welcome to my class yes in this class i am going to discuss science important topic that is magnetism i am going to discuss important mcq questions already i up, i uploaded the video based on the theory part of magnetism go through that video then once you understand that video easily you can uh, solve mcq questions that's why uh, knowing the concept is very very important if you know the concept of magnetism easily you can answer mcq questions okay Yes, let us move to the first question. Okay, let us discuss. with first question yes first question a suspended bar magnet is rotated it will come to rest in north south direction this shows that the earth has its own first option electric field second option magnetic field third option gravitational field fourth one more than one of the above here they are asking the question if you suspend a bar magnet okay then when you leave that bar magnet freely then it will come to rest in north south direction this one it will shows that the earth has a magnetic field because of the magnetic field only earth magnetic field only the bar magnet it will come to rest in north south position okay easy question these are all easy question if you know the concept that's why better go through my video theory part of magnetism then later solve the mcq question then it will be very easy for you next one which of the following gives the direction of the force acting on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field here which of the following gives the direction of force we in which of the following it will gives the direction of the force when a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field if a conductor is carrying a current if a conductor is carrying a magnetic field okay then in which direction it will it will show the force first option fleming right hand rule second one maxwell cork screw rule third one fleming left hand rule fourth option more than one of the above here the correct answer for this question is fleming right hand rule sorry fleming left hand rule not right hand rule correct answer for this question is fleming left hand rule according to the fleming left hand rule it will show the direction of the force acting on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field according to the uh, fleming left hand rule if you hold a current carrying conductor in your left hand then you will conclude the direction of the force in which direction the force is acting on a current carrying conductor when you placed in a magnetic field okay next next question who discovered the relationship between electric current and magnetic field who discovered the relation between electric current and magnetic field here the correct answer for this question is let us see the option first first one mikhail faraday second option hc wooster third one joseph henry fourth option william struggen here the correct answer for this question is 
HC Wooster. He discovered the relationship between electric field, uh, sorry, electric current and magnetic field. Remember, okay. Let us move to the next question. Here I am going to discuss only 10 questions. In the next class, I will solve next uh, uh, set of MCQ question based on the other topic. That's my intention. Now onwards, I am trying to complete at least uh, for TET. Uh, now the date is 21st. Hardly 12 days are there. TET exam, it will be 3rd of September. Yes, no? That's why I am planning at least daily one MCQ question for one MCQ. It will be in maths. Then one MCQ, one MCQ class, it will be science. One set of, okay. I am planning to take the classes. That's why be in touch with me. Because from last 10 days, I am not well. I am having some uh, uh, severe health issues that's why I am not able to even sit also that's why I am not able to do any classes from last uh, 10 to 15 days it is very hard days for me to recover I took more than uh, 10 days time some uh, severe health issues that's why now at least now we are having more than 12 days then I am trying to complete how much possible uh, now onwards, I will discuss only MCQ questions, okay? Because TET, mainly it will be based on the MCQs. That's why I will concentrate on MCQ type questions only, okay? Next, next question. A metallic rod, when placed in strong magnetic field, aligns itself at right angles to the magnetic field. The nature of the material is. What is the nature of the material? First option diamagnetic second option paramagnetic third option ferromagnetic fourth option more than one of the above the correct answer for this question is diamagnetic here you have to remember a metallic rod when placed in a strong magnetic field if you placed a metallic rod in a strong magnetic field align itself at right angles to the magnetic field then that metallic rod it will be aligned right angle to the magnetic field then the nature of the material that magnetic magnetic rod it will behaves like a yeah, diamagnetic material that one you have to remember next question easy question here is an example of first one paramagnetic material second option diamagnetic material third option ferromagnetic material fourth one anti ferromagnetic material air air is a air is a paramagnetic material remember air is a paramagnetic material in theory classes i explained all the concept what is mean by paramagnetic material diamagnetic material ferromagnetic antiferromagnetic everything that's why please go through the theory part of a magnetic magnetism then come back to mcq then next one Next question. What does the forefinger indicate in the Fleming left hand? Sorry, Fleming right hand rule. Don't, I am getting confused between left and right hand, but you don't get confused. What does the forefinger it will indicate in the Fleming right hand rule? First option, it will indicate the direction of motion of conductor. Second one, direction of induced current. Third option, direction of motion of coil. Fourth option, direction of the magnetic field. Yes, fourth option is the correct answer. In the uh, Fleming right hand rule, the four finger, it will indicate the direction of magnetic field. Easy questions. Next, earth magnetism is due to first one, first option, dynamo effect. Second option, Doppler effect, third option, solar effect, fourth one, manganus effect. Earth, it will show the magnet magnetism. This is due to the, this is due to the dynamo effect. Remember, okay. Yes, next important question. Magnetism 
at the center of bar magnet is first option minimum second option zero third option negative fourth one is maximum magnetism at the center of a bar magnet always it will be zero remember magnetism at the center of bar magnet it will be zero next question a natural magnet is one is an ore of which of the following chemical compound natural magnet it will be the which ore they are asking in the following chemical compound first option iron oxide second one iron nitrate third option copper oxide fourth one iron hydroxide the correct answer is iron oxide natural magnet is an ore of ore of a chemical compound is iron oxide next when an electric current passes through a solenoid it acts as first option electric bell second one bar magnet third one resistor fourth option insulator c when a when a when an electric current passes through a solenoid it will behaves as a bar magnet electric current if it is passed through a solenoid then that solenoid it will behaves as a bar magnet very easy questions okay next one next question move to the next question which among the following device is used to detect the flow of current in a circuit which device we will use to detect the flow of current in a circuit first option laser diode second one moving coil galvanometer third one ammeter fourth one voltmeter the correct answer is moving coil galvanometer that is the device used to detect the flow of current in a circuit circuit how much amount of current it will flow in a particular circuit this moving coil galvanometer exactly accurately it will measure next next question the core of a electromagnet is made up of very easy question first option soft iron second one magnesium third one copper fourth one steel the core of a electromagnet it is made up of a soft iron next material in the superconducting state is the materials they will be in the superconducting state is first option paramagnetic second one is diamagnetic third one is ferromagnetic fourth one is anti ferromagnetic materials in the superconducting state they will be in the diamagnetic state then today's last question magnetic field inside a solenoid is first option increases from one end to another uniform third option varies from point to point fourth one none of the above very easy question magnetic field inside a solenoid always it will be uniform yes yes thank you everyone now the tet exam date it will be september 3 then hardly i am having like 12 to 12 to 13 days approximately 12 days that's why i am planning to uh, conduct two classes per day each class one class both the class they will be based on mcq one class uh, it will be based on mcqs of any important topic of maths then another class it will be science mcq that's why i am planning to conduct at least two class per day one one class for maths one class for science that's why be touch with me subscribe to my channel only if you subscribe only whatever the videos or live classes i will upload you can uh, get the notification then easily you can watch definitely my classes it will be helpful those they are uh, preparing for tet 
this uh, 2023 even yesterday so many you wrote ctet 2023 that ctet exam so many questions they will be based on what i discussed in the class even i am doing the ctet series also those you attended the those you was attended the yesterday's class please see my videos how many questions they will be covered in my class okay that's why those who are preparing tt this year 2023 definitely my classes live classes whatever the videos i am uploading every all the classes it will be very helpful for you whenever you are having the free time please watch my videos and please uh, share how much possible share to your friends those they are preparing for the uh, upcoming teachers exam TET, CTAT, JPSTR, HSTR all the types of exam it will be helpful for me okay okay thank you everyone thanks for listening my class Okay, we will meet in the next class. Take care. Bye-bye.